Okay, so hi to all. My name is Ekaterina. I'm head of support at Iridium Mobile Support Team. Uh, and today I'll introduce you the new Iridium version for Kenix equipment. Let's start from beginning. What's new in Iridium version 3? Of course, the most important thing that was introduced with the Iridium new platform is the Iridium server. It makes you able to connect to KNX TP1 directly if you use some hardware realization of Iridium server. And it makes you able to control KNX system from any number of control devices. And this number will not be related with the type of your KNX safety interface. So it is very convenient. And we changed the licensing system. It is absolutely new licensing system working on Iridium Cloud Services. I will introduce you it. What is available in the new version for free? It's an important question, uh, but you may know in Iridium 2 version, you was able to use Iridium for free as an integrator. And in this version, you are also able to use all Iridium tools for free. You can install and make visualization projects and make server projects absolutely for free. All Redium software do, do not use in the licenses. Uh, when you are working in a local mode using Iridium transfer application, when you are uploading your visualization project and server project in a local, in a local web network to your devices, you can use the free test mode. Uh, it is from 5 to 12 minutes of continuous work on your iPhone, Android, or Windows device. Uh, the size of test period are related with the status of your company. You can see the status of your company on our website. If you want to introduce your visualization project to a customer, to end user, you can use the free trial period in the Redem Cloud Services. 60 days of continuous work with fully functional mod. When the trial period ends, you have to choose if you want to make another cloud object and continue testing, or you can buy the commercial license and uh, work with your object without any time limits. The most important questions asked by our users does Iridium 3 works without the server? Yes, it does. Uh, Iridium server is just an additional tool. You can use it or not. Uh, Iridium server makes you able to use the databases to make the graphic uh, scenarios 24-7 and so on. But you can choose. If you want to use Iridium as in previous version, you can control your KNX system directly from your iPhone, Android, to Windows device. Or you can control the KNX system through the KNX server based on Iridium server. Can I use old licenses? Uh, yes, you can, but the licenses must be exchanged. You can contact us to change your commercial license from version 2 to version 3. Uh, you have to send a message to contact at iridiummobile.ru. And the next question, can I use several several drivers in visualization project, in a server project, of course you can. You, you can use Iridium server or Iridium client as a gateway between different automation systems, between different protocols. It is for free. You don't need to pay something to use Iridium server like a gateway. Uh, you just need to buy some license for Iridium server and visualization and you will be able to use Iridium with KNX to control your system directly from control panel or from server. You can use any license. I'll show you how to choose the license for your automation object. What is the server solution for KNX? Uh, first of all, I want to introduce you some hardware realizations of Iridium server with support of KNX TP1 interface. First of all, UMC and Pabeda servers is only for Russian market for the moment, but we want to 
uh, introduce it for the other world also. But for the moment, you can choose um, logic machine automation controller from embedded systems uh, to install Iridium server to this controller. Iridium server will, works like a plug-in for logic machine. You can just install Iridium server to logic machine and control your KNX equipment through it. Iridium client will be connected using Iridium protocol to the logic machine, to Iridium server on logic machine. You will be able to make SQLite database. You will be able to generate trends, pie charts, and bar charts uh, on your visualization. And you will be also able to use the other functions of Logic Machine. You can also install Iridium server to onbox equipment from Global Cache. It's a small server for little installations, for example, for audio, video, media, media system. You can install Iridium server on your desktop PC based on Windows 7, 8, 10. On your PC based on Linux, you can choose any PC. For example, on this picture, you can see little Nuke mini PC. It is very good to install Iridium server, but it doesn't have a KNX TP1 interface, of course. If you want, you can install Iridium server on Raspberry Pi devices. You can choose any Raspberry Pi, two or three, or the new one, and install Iridium server to it. It has an Ethernet interface, so all Iridium protocols based on TCP IP, UDP, HTTP will work directly with your equipment from this Raspberry device. How it works when Iridium control your KNX through Iridium server. Each control panel connected to Iridium server using the special KNX, uh, not KNX, Iridium protocol. It's secured protocol, encrypted protocol. Uh, with it, control panel are able to send command to KNX and receive feedback from KNX. Control panel is also able to send some data to another Iridium device, to another control panel. So all the control panels works in the same space, in the same uh, information area. You can resend any data from one panel to another, from panel to KNX, from KNX to panel, uh, and you can use some other Iridium server as a, in a sleeping mode if the main server will be damaged some way, uh, control panels will be able automatically reconnect to work with the uh, other Iridium server. So you will not lost the connection to your KNX bus. How to control your KNX system with Iridium control panels, i 3 Pro or Iridium server? First of all, let's start from the new protocols for KNX supported by Iridium 3. First of all, you may know the protocols KNX Net AP and KNX AP Buzz. It has been added in the previous Iridium version and it works in the current version. You can use these protocols on Iridium server, on Iridium client also. It will work anywhere because it's in UDP protocols based on IP. So you can install Iridium server on your PC and control you KNX installation with these protocols. But you may need the special server protocols supported by the new Iridium version. If you buy some Iridium server on the hardware base, uh, UMC, Logic Machine, Pobieta devices, uh, you may need the new direct KNX protocols to send the data directly to TP1 bus. So here you can see the list of new protocols that can be used on the Iridium server if you buy and use some special realization of Iridium server. I think uh, in your situation uh, you may need only KNX LMX driver. It works absolutely the same 
as in previous version, you just import in the group addresses from ETS project to Iridium project to Iridium server project, and then changing the type of your KNX driver from KNX net IP to KNX LMX. And Iridium server will send the data directly to KNX bus, uh, and it will use less uh, resources from your hardware equipment. Okay, the next slide demonstrating you how you can connect to your KNX system. First of all, it's the simplest way to connect to your KNX system using some KNX IP router or KNX IP interface. It is the same. Uh, you can connect to them directly from control panel. We installed i3 Pro app. You are installing Iridium on your PC, tablet, or smartphone. You are uploading special visualization project to these devices, and these devices connecting to your KNX bus via IP interface using KNX NetIP protocol directly via your home router. If you want to connect to a KNX bus more than two, three, four, five, big number of controlling devices, control panels, you may need a Iridium server. With the Iridium server, you are able to connect to the KNX bus any number of control panels because Iridium panels will not send the requests and comments directly to the KNX bus. Uh, they'll send the comments to Iridium server. They, they will send the request of KNX status to Iridium server and server will answer to all the devices. It is not overloading the bus at all. But all of these devices will be able to send their comments to some group addresses in KNX bus. So this server can be installed on the hardware or on your PC. You may need any KNX IP interface. It doesn't matter which one. You just need to support uh, KNX Net IP protocol, KNX Net IP tunnel in Unicast. So it will work like you see on this shim. And the next slide demonstrating you how to control the KNX bus without KNX IP interface. You can connect to the bus directly if you are using, for example, logic machine server. It is easy to do. You just change in the KNX driver type to KNX LMX and your logic machine will send the data directly to the bus and don't, don't need to connect to some other some other KNX IP interface router. Uh, but the project on the Rhythm server will be the same that if you are connecting to another IP interface, you just need to change the driver type and some simple settings, a few things you need to do. Client server connection how to use it and how to do it. First of all, let's start from the situation if you are, if you have used Iridium before, if you already have some visualization project for Iridium and you want to convert it to use this Iridium server or you just want to use the new features available in Iridium 3 and you want to con convert your visualization project. So you have to install the new version of Iridium software package. Here you can see Iridium Studio app. It is the same application as Iridium GUI editor, but here you can create not only graphic interfaces, you can also create the project for your Iridium server. So now I'll find some project from Iridium version 2 to convert it and show you how it looks like. It's a version or it's a project made in Iridium 2.1.3. I'm dragging it to the new Iridium Studio app and it is asking me, do you want to convert the project to the new format? Yes, I 
want to convert it. The project with the new name will be created. I'm saving this project. And now we see the visualization project that can be used in IEEE application from the App Store. It's a new application for Iridium Pro. So if I want to use it to use this visual interface not to uh, to connect to Iridium server but not directly to KNX bus. I want to create the server project based on the panel project. If you saw I pressed by the right button to my my visualization project and choose create server project. As a result you will see that the KNX driver has been added to the server project and in visual part of project I can see not KNX driver but Iridium server driver. With this driver I am connecting to Iridium server. I can install it on my PC for example. The IP address of my PC 066. I have to set the port. You can see the port of Iridium server in the settings of server project. Here it is. I'm going back to the panel project and setting up. All I need is host and port of the new Iridium server. I want to start on my PC. The next project you can see is a Redium server project. On our webinar of about the Redium server you can see it in details how to use the new tabs, the new driver and the Redium server tab of a Redium server, how it works, how to use the modified functions and the new functions of a Redium server. All of this information uh, is our webinar about the Redium server on YouTube channel. So now we can see see KNX driver on the Iridium server and Iridium server driver in the panel project. So panel connecting to server, server connecting to KNX and everything works fine. Okay great, now I have to save the new server project on my desktop and now I can upload this project to Iridium server. You can start Iridium server on your PC. It is situated in Iridium LTD folder, Iridium Pro folder that will be installed with another Iridium component. It is console application on Windows. And now I can upload the project to Iridium server using using Iridium transfer app. I have to choose the project for uploading. Start and upload. Okay, it is started. Now the server works and I can open the web interface to set up some functions of Redim server. Uh, you can see this error because I, I turned on the secure connection with the Redim server and set it up with, with Chrome browser. You will not see it. You will not see it by default. I made some experiments before we start our training. Okay, open Google Chrome application. I'll show you how it looks like when by installing and starting Iridium server for, for the first time. Uh, one important thing, you will not be able to upload some project to Iridium server before you authorize on Iridium server. I'm authorized already, of course, so so I was able to upload project. Okay, we are going to the web interface of Iridium server. It is asking me for the service password, 2007. I'm using secure connection as you see, HTTPS. I can disable it in security section then it will work anywhere. 
Okay, so what I want to show you is how to use Iridium Server in the test mode. If you are an integrator, you want to test some functions of Iridium Server. So you have to activate the test mode of Iridium Server. Now I'm deactivating the test mode. And after that, I'm not able to download some Iridium project there. When the test mode activated, I am able to upload the projects. Why? Uh, if you are not using the test mode, it's a commercial used server, you have to open the cloud section. You have to sync with the Redium cloud and you will be able to download the project from Redium website to your Redium server and it will work with a commercial license, like, like here. But if you didn't buy the commercial license, if you didn't start some trial period, uh, you want to test something and you have to start the test mode and upload projects from Redium server. So, Iridium transfer for local projects, Iridium cloud for commercial projects, generally. Okay. I'll deactivate server at all to show you how you will see it in the first time. The server has been deactivated and it is asking me to authorize with some login and password from Iridium mobile website. You have to be authorized in Iridium server with your login and password from Iridium mobile website. It is absolutely needed to use Iridium server some way. I'm authorizing and now the second step I have to use the service password it's a fast password you will be able to use to for the fast access to the rhythm server I'll set I, I'll set it by default and now I can see all the projects all the projects that can be uploaded to the rhythm server with, with some trial or commercial license. You, you can see uh, that I'm, I have added in Redium Cloud really many different projects for different automation objects. So you will see here all the server projects that could be uploaded to Redium server. You have to start the test mode and skip this step if you want to upload projects from Redium Transfer as I want to do. So. I set the test mode on and skipping the step with uploading projects from Iridium Cloud. And now I'm able to press upload button on Iridium transfer and download the project that we made here in Iridium Studio app by pressing off send to transfer button. I'm uploading the new versions of my project to Iridium server. And now it works on the host 066. And my control panel with this visual interface can be connected to this server by this host. I just started it in emulator. Emulator works with the test mode too. When you start the application for the first time, you will see this about you will see this picture with the login and password of your integrated account from Iridium Mobile website. You have to log in as a server. Same parameters. I'm signing in and now I can upload the project from Iridium Studio to Iridium Client. It's starting the work with the test mode. You can see the application in a test mode. The test mode means that you can use this project for five minutes without rebooting of application. Then you have to close the application after five or twelve minutes and start it again. 
again and it will work again. In the next version of Redeem app, you will be able to start the application in developer's mode. It uh, disable the time limit of working with application. So you will be able to use the application, for example, on your PC and on your personal phone, personal smartphone, without any time limits. It will work all the time. So it will be easy to test any Iridium server and Iridium client scenarios. Uh, to or log out from the application of your computer or your control device or your control panel, you have to use the project menu. This menu can be opened on your smartphone with the swipe from left to right on the screen. And on Windows, you can start this application with F7 button. Just press F7 and you will see this project menu. In this menu, you can upload any project from Meridian Cloud to your control panel. And you can also see all the local projects. Local project means it is uploaded from Iridium Studio via Iridium Transfer app. You will be able to switch between these local projects and you will be able to download also the cloud projects to test some functionality in any moment. Uh, with the system button, with the settings button, you will be able to log out from application to log in with some other account and upload some other project to this control panel. It will look the same on your iPad or Android tablet. Okay, so we have started the app. The Radiant server connected to server on my PC. You can see some data uh, between control panel and server. You will be able to see the status of your equipment with the web interface of Radiant server. Let's go to it. Here you can see the channels and feedback tab that includes all the current statuses of Redim server variables. It is very great feature. You can check, you can see and set any KNX variable with the web interface and you can see how it is changing. How, how some variable changing with uh, you can set some variable with this tab, send some data to KNX without creating any graphic interface in Iridium Studio. It's a very nice debugging tool. In the systems tab, you can set some different settings. In the cloud tab, you can upload some server projects to Iridium Server, as I have said. In this tab, you can set up some driver settings and see the log files. Uh, the real-time login available in this tab in the right part of web interface. So we have seen the main features of working with control panel in the Radiant Server on your PC. On the other, on the other operating system, it will look the same. Okay, let's continue with. Uh -huh. I have shown you how to create a visualization project if you already had some visual interface from the previous Iridium version. But you can also create a visual interface from zero. You can use the wizard of interfaces. You can use some pre-configured buttons. And you can add the KNX driver from database or you can import it from ETS project. It's a very convenient way to get some list of KNX variables that can be used. Uh, you can create the server project from zero and import the group addresses from server project to panel project. Uh, I have shown you how to create the server project based on panel project, but you can also create the panel project based on server project. Uh, you have to use the right button, right mouse button to do it. I'm choosing the KNX project for Iridium server and choosing create panel project button. The panel project will be automatically created.
associated with uh, Iridium server driver and the list of variables it have been it has been imported from Iridium server application. If you want to create some virtual variable, some logics on Iridium server, you can use the virtual tab. Uh, these variables can be controlled by Iridium script. You will be also able to create the logic schemes. It's a better functionality, but it will be available soon, I hope. For example, on it input, I have the data from KNX feedback, and I want to send this data to another KNX channel, or it can be Modbus channel, for example. I'm choosing some. Ah, I'm choose some. I'm choosing some other KNX variable, but it doesn't matter which variable will be on the output. And I want to scale this variable before sending to the and to another address from one from zero one to zero one hundred, for example. It's on automatically scaling function. So I have a logic scheme uh, that can be made using the five strings of JavaScript. But if you don't know the JavaScript language which you can use this method to create some simple or not simple logics in the radio. It's a great feature that will be available soon. Please, please check in the blog on the radio mobile website, web, website sometimes. We will publish the information about these functions soon. Okay, the next step. I have shown you how to check your visual project in emulator if you are using the panel project and I have shown you how to send the transfer from Iridium Studio to Iridium uh, server to add some panel or server in Iridium transfer you have to use the simple simple searching process in Iridium transfer app just press the search button in the interface of app application and you will see all the devices with the started Iridium applications that available for the moment. And now we have to speak about licensing, about how to choose, how to install and how to use the commercial license in the new Iridium version for KNX. First of all, all the licensing system is now working using the internet services. But it doesn't mean that Iridium cannot work in offline. You just need an internet to upload the license with the visualization project from the internet and then you can disconnect from the internet and work locally. You don't need to connect to the internet sometimes. Uh, it could be used in the local network. You, you, you will be you will have to connect to internet only if you need to update something in your visualization project with commercial license but we are working on the tools that will make you able to upload the project in the, in the local network so you will need an internet only to download some data from the website for example in your office and then you will be able to go for example to commercial object and you will be able to work offline. For the moment, it is only online. It is only an internet tool. Okay, how to choose the license? Let's go to the price at Iridium Mobile website. My account, my profile. Here you can see the status of your company on our website. The status of company related with the discounts for Iridium licenses, uh, how to get, uh, how to increase your, the status of your company, you can read in the information tab. Just press on the status of your company in my profile. Here you can see the owners, the members of, of my company, for example. I can invite 
members and then guy and I can kick some member from the company if it is not if he is not working here anymore. All the members of the company are able to work with your automation object. He will be able to uh, use in and update visualization projects and licenses you have added. And we are going to the price. And I'll show you how to choose the license and how the license works. The first point of choosing a license is a select object configuration tab. You have to know if you want to use server on the object or not. If you want to use the server, you have to choose visualization and server license. If you don't want to use Iridium server, if you want to connect from control panel to KNX by directly using just just a simple KNX IP interface you can use visualization only license and the third type of license is server only license server only means you will not be able to use some visualization projects at all it means the server used the server used only as a gateway between different automation systems only as a gateway without any visualization instead of uh, just a web interface of server will be available but this is not a visualization in a classic meaning so it is a, not a most popular license I think the best way to use visualization server license so you will be able to connect KNX bus directly from control panel or you will be able to connect KNX bus through Iridium server it will be also available. Uh, and then you have to start uh, with choosing of type of license. It could be starter, basic, advanced, enterprise, enterprise plus. The type of license means the number of control panels that can be used with this license and the number of tags of Iridium server that can be used with this license. The number of control panels, mm, it is simple. So how many iPads, iPhones, Android panels and Windows PCs could be um, started with this license and automation project you want to use with this license. But, but the Iridium server text, you have to know how to count the Iridium server text, the number of texts at the Iridium server. Let's go to Iridium Studio app and I'll show you what, what is the Iridium server text. Just see of this left side of Iridium server application. You can see the blue arrows and the green arrows here. So the text is in arrows. Here it is. Let's make a screenshot. I'll highlight the text of server to make a show that you understand it correctly. Here is a virtual tax. Here is a KNX tax. And the total number of virtual and driver tax is the total number of Iridium server tax. If you are adding some command to Iridium server, it is not a tag. You, you have count only the feedback channels, only the feedback data that will be received from, from controlled equipment or will be added as a virtual variables. So the total number of Iridium server tags will be 26 in this situation. In your situation it could be more. So I think now you have a question how to count the number, the needed number of Iridium server tags in your, in your situation for your automation object. Mm, for me the simplest way to count tags is uh, to count how big is, is your object and let's go to sorry licensing policy tab here you can find some recommendation next time when you will say, think about it here it is the number of server text is a text processed at the Iridium server feedback channels processed at the Iridium server 
And the number of tags can be calculated based on one square meter object area is a one server tag. So one square meter for engineering equipment means one server tag. If you are using this audio video equipment, it is not a good formula. You have to read your technical papers and count the feedbacks that have been that uh, you need to receive from your equipment some other way. But when you're working with lighting and other engineering systems, one square meter means one server tag. It is a simple way to count, count it generally. Uh, when you are ready to choose the number of control panels that you want to see on your object, and you're, when you are ready to choose the number of server tags, you can choose the type of license. For example, enterprise license is 25 control panels and 2,500 Iridium server variables. It is only feedback, so it is really big number. The next section is a choosing of the control drivers. We are working with KNX equipment, so we have to choose just KNX. And now we can see the additions that you can read or that you can buy with Iridium license. It says IP cameras and SAP intercom. If you are using the video from IP cameras and if you want to use your control panel as a SIP intercom panel to call from your phone to Iridium, you have to choose these additions. And at the bottom at the bottom you will see the price for end user and for you as an integrator with some status of your company with uh, some discount related with the status of your company. When the license Paid, you will be able to see this license in My Licenses tab. Here you will see all the licenses for Iridium 3 version. And here you can see the project with, related with this license. I have to create some folder and projects in My Projects tab to relate it with some Iridium license. Uh, what does it mean? You read them object. It means some number of visualization projects, some number of server projects, the license related with these projects, and the users invited to use these visualization projects on their own panels. The users invited to your object, to your visualization objects, will be able to see some of projects that you will download to the website and then they will be uploaded this project via the internet to the control panels they will be able to update this project if needed and the license related with the number of drivers server tags and additions added in all the visualization projects in this automation object for example the name of object is uh, office it means here you will see all the visual interfaces used to control this office. And the license paid for all the drivers used in all the projects. If the boss project projects use only KNX equipment, so the license will, be, uh, will include only KNX equipment. And the number of control panels will be related with the number of uh, the list of control panels in this tab will be the same as the list of control panels where the user authorized with his own email and password. So I can invite some email and authorize with it at the different control panels. So when one of devices authorizing, one of control panels will be used with this license. So advanced license for 10 panels means 
that I can log in with this email on 10 controlling devices. If you need more devices, if you need more drivers, or if you need to add some addition to your control, uh, to your license for this object, you can edit this, this license and change some additions, the app drivers, or change the type of this license. For example, we are getting license here, KNX Plus Global Cachin, for example. And on the next step, you will see the difference before the price of source license and updated license. Okay then, now we can choose the license for automation object and when you will invite some end user to use this visual interface, uh, he will receive the email with the link to this interface. He will be able to upload this interface by the link of, after authorization in the Iridium app. Before authorized, he have to choose his own password on our website. All of this information will be available in the email that he will receive after you will invite him to automation object. Now we are uh, updating the welcome pages for inter uh, for the end users and for integrators that make you work easier with the new licensing system. And this is all about main features of Iridium for KNX. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm stopping the record. You will be see, you will be able to see it on YouTube channel tomorrow. After the webinar, 